Overview. The aircraft communication systems consist of VHF radios, HF radios, optional, service interphone, passenger address, PA, cockpit voice recorder, Selective calling, cell cal, optional. A cars, optional. These are the locations of the antennas on the aircraft for the VHF and HF radio systems. The aircraft is fitted with a number of static discharges to prevent interference during communication. That completes the overview for communications. The next section will cover a general description of the communication system. Audio Integrating System The Audio Integrating System is the interface for the various audio inputs and outputs provided for the pilot. Audio Selector Panel Central to the system is the Audio Selector Panel. Three identical units are fitted for the Captain, the First Officer, and the third crew member. The square transmit buttons route voice from the boom microphone or hand microphone associated with the audio selector panel to the indicated radio transmitter. Only one transmit button may be selected at any time. Press to transmit switches to enable voice communication via the boom microphones are provided both on the audio selector panel and on the control column. Audio signals from the radios, navigational beacons and intercom may be selected by pushing the appropriate receive button which also incorporates a volume control. Any number of receive buttons may be selected at the same time. It is not necessary to depress a receive button in order to monitor communications on a radio channel if the associated transmit button is depressed. However, the receive button is still used to control volume. The receive buttons associated with the ILS, VOR and DME channels incorporate a single button to monitor both receivers. A voice button coupled to the VOR and ADF channels filters out the ident signal to leave the voice signal. The boom mask switch is normally set to boom. When the oxygen mask is in use, the switch must be set to mask to select the mask microphone. This action will also select the associated speaker above the pilot regardless of the speaker switch position. The AB test switch is used to test the two audio channels within the audio integrating system. Whilst listening to a continuous broadcast, there should be no significant drop in audio level while selecting Test A and Test B in turn. As this test affects the operation of the overhead speakers, a headset must be worn for the duration of the test.
intercom. The intercom allows communication between the pilots, the third crew member, and ground crew at the AC supply panel. Combined intercom and RT switches are located on each audio selector panel and on both control columns. Each audio selector panel has an intercom receive volume button. Passenger address, service interphone, crew call. Passenger address announcements, service interphone communications and crew call paging are integrated on one control panel on the center pedestal. Passenger address announcements are made by either the captain or first officer by selecting the appropriate PA button on the panel. Selection of the PA transmit button automatically allows the flight crew to monitor PA announcements from the flight deck or the cabin. The press to transmit button is pressed while speaking through the headset microphone. Alternatively, with either PA button depressed, the announcement may be made by using the Press to Transmit button on the appropriate handset, located on the rear face of each side console. Communication between the flight deck, the cabin and the following external stations is made by using the Service Interphone Transmit button on the control panel coupled with the appropriate receive volume control on the audio selector panel, the avionics bay, the starboard wing at the refuel panel, the hydraulics bay, the air conditioning bay. A crew call system consisting of audio chimes and lights is fitted to attract attention in the flight deck and in the cabin. The attention of the ground crew can be gained by using the ground call horn. The system, which consists of three call buttons and one cancel button, is used for both incoming and outgoing calls to and from the flight deck. When any button is pressed to make a call from the flight deck or when an incoming call is received, the appropriate caption will light, which must then be cancelled using the Cancel Call Facility. Any incoming call will produce a single chime. <coughs> Pressing Cabin Call produces a double chime in the passenger cabin. Steady green lights above the aisle and PI on the cabin crew interphone panels. The flight deck may be called from the cabin by pressing PI on the cabin attendant's handset. In an emergency, Pressing Emergency Call produces a double chime in the passenger cabin, flashing green lights above the aisle, and EIC flashing on the cabin crew interphone panels. An emergency call from the passenger cabin illuminates Emergency Call and sounds a single chime. The ground call button sounds a horn in the nose gear bay to attract the attention of the ground crew. The ground crew may attract the attention of the flight deck 
by the use of the call button on the AC supply panel. A chime will sound on the flight deck and the ground call caption will illuminate until cancelled. Radio Management Panel Two radio management panels are located on the center pedestal. Their only function is to change the frequency of any of the VHF or HF radios. The left side radio management panel is associated with the number one VHF and HF radios. The right side radio management panel is associated with the number two VHF and HF radios. But either radio management panel may be used to change the frequency of any radio. The number three VHF, if fitted, does not have an associated radio management panel. To change the frequency, the radio is first selected by the appropriate button. If the radio to which the radio management panel is associated is selected, either VHF1, HF1, VHF2 or HF2 will be displayed in both the pre-select and active windows. The frequency is then changed in the pre-select window and the transfer switch is then pressed to transfer the frequency to the active window. If a radio is selected on the radio management panel to which it is not associated, its identifier will flash to indicate that an abnormal selection has been made. Pressing and holding the button will stop the identifier flashing. The frequency of that radio may still be changed in the normal way. Whichever radios are selected on the radio management panels, all radios are still available at the audio selector panel for transmit and receive. When fitted, VHF3 is intended for use with ACARS. When ACARS has control of VHF3, ACARS appears in place of the frequency in both the active and pre-select windows. Cockpit Voice Recorder The Cockpit Voice Recorder is a four-channel recording device which records the last 30 minutes of the audio from the receive and transmit channels selected on each audio selector panel and flight deck background audio detected by the area microphone. The cockpit voice recorder is tested by pressing the test button on the front panel. If the unit is serviceable, the needle will move into the green. Audio recorded on the CVR can be erased when the aircraft is on the ground and any of the upper doors are open. This is done by pressing and holding the Erase button for at least two seconds. <laughs>